Welcome biologists. Today we are looking at biodiversity 4.2.1 from the OCR specification for A-level biology. We're looking at specification point C on how to measure species richness and species evenness within a habitat. So species richness, this is the number of different species within a given area. Whereas species evenness, this is the proportion of the community that is made up of individual species or the number of individual species, the number of individuals within each species. Um, I'm going to show you an example of that in a second. So for example, two communities may have the same number of species or species richness, but the proportion of each community made up by each species may vary. So they might have the same species richness, but they could have different species evenness. And I'm going to show you an example in a second. So we take these two um, habitats, for example, we have a, a meadow and we have a wheat field. Now in, the, in both fields, there are 25 species, so they have the same species richness. Species richness is the number of species within a given area. So there's 25 species in each. Um, however, in the meadow, each of those 25 species are equally abundant. So species uh, evenness is relatively high because we have um, the same number of individuals of each species. Whereas in the wheat field here, it's predominantly wheat. Even though there's 25 species uh, for species richness, it has a low species evenness because some of those species, some of those 25 species are very low in number. They're very low in abundance. So therefore, there are very few individuals of some of those species. So this, the wheat field here would have a low species evenness, whereas the meadow would have a high species evenness. So the meadow here has a greater biodiversity. So you can measure species richness by simply counting the number of species within a given area, whereas species evenness is measured using something called Simpson's Index of Diversity, which, which takes into consideration the number of individuals of each species. And that is our next lesson objective, our next specification point, which is specification point D, which is in the next video. So guys, remember in your exams, don't use the words it, they, amount or size. Use good scientific terminology within your explanations and good luck.